Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So with the release of Edge version 111, which is the previous stable version of Microsoft Edge, we are currently sitting on version 112, Microsoft um, started rolling out a new feature called Microsoft Edge Workspaces, which enables you to share a set of browser tabs um, where basically everyone can view the same websites and latest working files for a project in one place. Now, I did post a whole video on how to enable and use the uh, new Microsoft Edge workspaces. And I'll leave a link down below to that video as it will just give you a lot more info if you would be interested. Now, um, just a quick video to show you how you can actually disable the Edge workspaces from the, uh, the uh, title bar in the top left um, of your browser if you do not need the feature. And uh, um, it's actually turned on by default. And in Edge version 112, which is the latest release, it should be, uh, be becoming more widely available. So if you don't want the clutter or you don't use Edge workspaces, which as mentioned appears in the top left, um, it's very simple uh, to disable the feature in Microsoft Edge for desktop. And the easiest would be is just to actually right click on the workspaces. And then you can just... Um, click on hide from toolbar and that will actually remove that icon and the feature from the from the actual toolbar and the title bar and another way you can you can um, remove it uh, is to head to your settings um, head to your settings page and then you navigate to your appearance page and on the appearance page under customized toolbar yeah you'll see show workspaces and as mentioned uh, in edge version 112 um, the latest stable release uh, the workspaces feature is um, becoming more widely available and is turned on by default. So all you do is you just toggle that off and you can see it's been removed from the top left. And if you want to uh, reintroduce and reverse the process, you can just come back and you can click on that and your workspaces is back and then you can create those workspaces. So that's just a simple way, two simple ways. You can actually disable the workspaces feature in the stable version of Microsoft Edge and also in the preview versions um, of Microsoft Edge. And as mentioned, uh, if you want to um, learn how to actually enable a workspace, I have posted a video previously, which will take you through and guide you through that process. And I'll leave a link down below to that video. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.